What's up everybody? Out here with my brother Cade, we're going offshore kayak fishing. Um, gonna try to get some trigger fish. They just opened up this, uh, I guess Monday. Today's Tuesday. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get some. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this type of content. We're about two and a half miles out right now from shore in a kayak. So we're gonna go hit this hard bottom spot I know about and see if we can get some. Peace out. All right, y'all see the bonita right here. It's all that ripply stuff on top of the water in front of me right here. See if I can hook up on one of them. There we go. All right, none on that cast. Dang. Dude, I don't know what's going on. Dude, I don't know why they're not biting. I've never seen bonito like this. I'm using like a 30 pound fluoro leader to the bait. Line to line knot. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't even have a swivel on. And a gotcha plug. Usually gets bonita, but not today apparently. Tons of bonita right here. Feeding on top of the water. Throw that GI jig in there. Oh, fish on. There we go. Got him that time. Woo. Woo. Got him on the dagger. Woo. Oh, yeah. Woo! Pillin' Dre. Right. Woo! Pull up. Drill down. I'm gonna fight you now. Oh, yeah. Got a nice bonita here. Right in the gills, that's why he's fighting so hard. Sweet. Perfect. Got him on the GI jig. Thanks, Lonnie, for those. Stratic 5000 and the Ninja Tackle Dagger 7 foot rod. Let's see if we can get another one. I saw some come up to the top again, but I don't know. That gotcha. That jig right there, man, that's a killer. GI jigs. I think it's the three inch rain minnow. Might be the two ounce rain minnow. Got the tail loop knot right there, so check those out. GI jigs. Lonnie's a great guy. He'll hook you up. Alright guys, got something here on the bottom. Feels like a trigger fish probably. 
What is it? Oh, two giant squirrel fish. Heck yeah. We'll take those. Those are awesome. Awesome to eat eating right there. They aren't the greatest fish ever, but they're really pretty. Oh, another giant squirrel fish. Dang, that's a big boy. That might be my PB right there. I mean, he's 11 inch. It's a B-52. What's up guys? Uh, you seen me yesterday offshore kayak fishing. Well, today we're doing the same thing. I got some clients from Missouri with me. We're gonna go out to the reef, try to catch some snapper, maybe troll for some mahi and king mackerel. So y'all stay tuned, see what we get. Hell yeah, there you go, Rick. You need a net? Yeah. Yep, a mangrove. Yep. Right there. there you go, nice, man. Way to go. We'll definitely keep that dude. Heck yeah. <laughs> Yep, that's what I'm nice. saying. You gotta give credit where credit due. That dude, um, Derek taught me that shit. Like 10 kayaks out of here, he's like, yeah, run away. Yep. Oh, you motherfucker. You let, want go, me pull let go, let go, let go. No, not you, him. You want me to pull him? He is bit into my leg and he's not letting go. I have never had a mangrove snapper bite me before. God dang it. Oh. Oh, damn. Motherfucker. Not very often. No, it sure doesn't. Uh, it's not often you get. Man, look at the teeth on that mother. I know, man. That had to hurt. You got horse teeth, too? Yeah, I mean, you can't. Don't you can't. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't really want to horse them. Oh. Yeah, strong, dude. You take a bath at the same time and forget about Come it. Come look Oh, yeah, keep going. Big school of mahi behind him. I see my leader. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, a, a, that's, a, that's a stud bonita. Oh, it's a bonita. Okay. Yep, here's a net right here. You can try to pull him in. Uh, just keep the line tight like that. Yeah, just keep going. You can try to... All right, you can just uh, hold on one second. Let me put my phone what's going on today guys pumping up brock here um so this is the end of the video you just saw me getting back in from offshore um ended up catching a mangrove snapper and a few bonita so now we're back at the house gonna do a catch and cook i got the squirrel fish from the start of the video we're gonna cook them up not many people eat them um but they're just like groupers i think they're actually in the grouper family um if i'm wrong you can comment down below you know let me know what family of fish these are in, but they look just like groupers so thanks for watching y'all stay tuned we're about to be in the kitchen cooking these up what's up guys we're in the kitchen now we got we got the cast iron skillet heating up got some butter got our fish right here the squirrel fish looks really white and flaky so it should be really good to eat looks just like grouper but just smaller but five fish made a pretty good amount of meat right here so y'all stay tuned got a little cavender season in here it's my favorite seasoning for just about everything i put this on steaks seafood chicken whatever you're cooking so get you some of that start melting some of this good old butter I season some of this up here. Got Alfie down there with some socks. He's waiting.
These aren't going to take long to cook, so we're not going to put them in there a long time. So yeah, it's looking really good. Looking good, coming along nicely, so we're about to take it out. We're going to try it. Looking really good. All right, guys, so we got our fish right here. I appreciate y'all watching this far. If you're still watching the video, be sure to like and subscribe. We got our squirrel fish right here. So these, most people don't eat them. Um, and I mean, their meat's flaky white meat, so. Hmm. Honestly, it tastes a lot like grouper. That's really good. White flaky meat. Can't go wrong with it. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you like this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, go in the comments section. Let me know what you think about the squirrel fish catch and cook. Um, it's pretty uncommon you see people eat squirrel fish, but I like eating things that um, normal people don't really think about eating. And I can't always catch like great keeper fish like grouper and snapper, so I gotta eat something. So y'all stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Pumping up rock out.